Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I just want to wish all the moms out there Happy Mother's Day, and I'd like to share with you how I journaled with the card that Baby Possum gave me in my little golden book spring journal. Come on along. Happy Mother's Day to you too. Isn't this journal getting nice and chunky? <laughs> Maybe a little too chunky. I was worried. I only put two signatures in here, and I'm like, how am I ever going to get it to look chunky with only two signatures? Well, I'm having no problem whatsoever, and I still have a whole bunch of pages to do. Uh-oh. I need to remember to do some flat pages, but that's not working. I'm still making pockets and everything and putting in pom-poms. So Baby Possum gave me a beautiful card and we went out to lunch at the Cheesecake Factory. And no, I didn't have any cheesecake because it's just way too much dairy for me. Let me just move a couple of things as always. So he gave me this beautiful card. It's Mother's Day, the perfect day to celebrate you and your generous heart. It even has some glitter on it. It's gorgeous. Inside is a little bit of a private message, so I won't show you that. But the card came inside this plain pink envelope. And like I said, we ate at the Cheesecake Factory. So this is actually part of the take home bag, you know, take your leftovers home. And I cut out where it says cheesecake. Now I was looking at these colors, this green and this pink and this brown, and I thought this paper would go really well with that. I keep bending down to the floor. With the pink and the brown and the green. And this is two sheets of paper that I got at the uh, flea market. I think I got this last week at the flea market with these beautiful butterflies. And they went together. So I said, okay, so let me back one page with the circles and one page with the butterflies. So that's how I started by choosing these papers to put as background because I wanted somehow to use this Cheesecake Factory. Now this is plastic and sometimes, you know, it's a little, little tricky to glue it in. But I did use a glue stick and it seemed to stick pretty well, but I took it over to the sewing machine and sewed around it with a little bit of a zigzag anyway. I took the envelope, which was plain pink, and I cut it to size to make a pocket, making sure I could see where he wrote mom and drew a little heart. I'm like, oh, he drew me a little heart. I did glue it with the glue stick, but then I decided to run around the whole edge. You know, I didn't go across the top. I could have done that, couldn't I? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't notice that until just now. And I used this trim that I got from Timu the other day, and it was close by because I think I was using it for something. And I thought the pale pinks would match nicely with the envelope. So I put that across the bottom. I also sewed that on after I glued it. And then with the scrap of paper I had from this side, I cut out a couple of the butterflies and put those on the envelope, and I put one up here. Now let me share with you what I did, if I can find it. <laughs> I already made a mess here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this was my scrap. Well, I cut this circle out, but I'll explain that in a minute. And if you notice the butterflies, you know, because it's the edge of the paper, you know, they're like partially cut off like this. So what I did was I cut the butterflies out and where the butterfly was cut off at the edge of the paper, I put that part at the edge of the paper. So like this was in the corner of the paper and you know the wings were cut off. So no matter, I just cut it out and then put it in the corner there. That was Mr. Possum sneezing. This one just had a little bit of a wing cut off, so I put the tip of the wing right at the edge of the paper, and the little one was in the middle, so it didn't have any edges cut off. And then this one was also on the edge. 
it was cut off there, so I cut it out and I put it there. So this way you get to use the butterflies that are even like cut off at the edge. Now if I hadn't punched this circle, I could have put this butterfly coming in like that. So it just looks like it's coming in from the edge of the paper. What else I do this page? I think that's all I did to this page, which is quite a lot. Adding the plastic on and sewing and making the pocket from the envelope and adding the butterflies, adding the trim and the stitching. So that's how that page came together. And now I can stick his card that he gave me right in there. Now on this side, like I said, I used the butterflies as the background. And then he gave me a, um, a beautiful house plant. And I took a picture of it and I printed it out on cardstock. Now it has this beautiful gold ribbon, which really didn't show up so nicely in the picture because it's just printed, printed on plain cardstock. So it's a little bit matte looking. So I took some of my gold gouache, Schmecky gold gouache. And if you can see, now when I move the page, it, that ribbon's got a little bit of that gold sparkle to it. But I decided to do, I always have to do something interactive, right? So the pocket here, so you pull out the card and look at it. And here, so I used the plant on the card stock as like a little door. And I punched a hole out of this paper. And I had, I had trimmed this to fit on the page, but then I decided to sort of start and end it with this little round one sticking out at the edge. So all I had to do was cut this piece off and it sort of fit nicely like that. Don't want it to go to waste. So I took that and I glued it to the circle I punched out and then I put a little heart brad on there It's like a pearl heart to make the closure, the little thing to hold the door closed, okay? And then when you open it up, I did my journaling on the inside, and we did this yesterday, May 13th, Mother's Day lunch at the Cheesecake Factory in Trumbull, Connecticut. House plants are a gift from Jesse and Lydia, and there's my house plants. And then here's a picture of the three of us. Mr. Possum was there too, but he, he took the picture. And there we are at the Cheesecake Factory. And I used the scraps of paper that I had from these two pages to, um, I glued one on the back of the cardstock that I printed the house plants out on. And then I used my, I know everything is still right here, my little Canon Mini IV printer prints out these little photos. So I printed out two of the photos. I used these circles on this side to do sort of like the inside of like a little booklet, I guess, or a little flip out. But I didn't want this paper. I wanted something different. Yeah, it's really nice. I, I usually don't buy double-sided paper because they're more expensive, but I get so much paper now at the flea market and I try to pick out the really nice packs, like the graphic 45s and simple stories. And, you know, with two pieces of double-sided papers, you get four different looks. So <laughs> I found that exciting because I usually don't have that double-sided paper. So I know all you are used to that, but not me. But then I took a strip of the envelope that I had cut off of here to fit this on here to make a pocket. And I just put a strip behind the picture. I cut out another butterfly, a nice pretty pink one this time, and put it in the corner. So I love how these two pages came out. And that goes in there. Hold that in. So then I was thinking, do I wanna add something across the top and bottom? And I'm not sure. I may come back and do that. Just like a little tiny pastel something. I don't know. I thought, well, maybe a thin washi tape maybe across the top and the bottom. 
I might do that, but we'll come back to that. And I actually have two more Mother's Day pages that I want to do. And I know I might wind up covering up some of this paper here. All right, so before I went out for lunch with Jesse and Lydia, I did go see my mom the other day. So I want to do a page for her. That was Stinky Winky Woos and knocking at the door. Knocking at the door. Stinky, what's up, Stinky? Stinky. She takes a little walk about every night about this time, and she walks the perimeter all around the house, all around. And then, of course, my door's closed because I'm recording. She's got to come in here. <laughs> she just went under the desk. There she is. Say hi to everybody. Thinky. 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 No? Oh, she's going to come up. <laughs> I got so much stuff on the couch, she can't jump up on the couch. Oop, she tried. Okay, now she's behind me. Stinky! And a big mess back there, too. Stinky! Are you going to talk? Stinky! Stinky! <laughs> Stinky! Alright, enough of that. So, in the other video, I was showing you um, this card that I gave Mom which was like a green monster with googly eyes. <laughs> it was so cute because my mother is blind. She's 93. It's going to be 94, and she's blind. And I thought um, it looked like this, but it was green. She'd be able to feel it, the card, and, and touch the googly eyes like that. And then when you open up the card, it said Happy Mother's Day. So it was a lot of fun. And I'm thinking... I have this white fur. I'm wondering if I can cut a little piece and with a marker turn it green and put some googly eyes on it and um, print out a picture of her with the card. I don't know. We'll try it. I'll get started on it. I got started with my journaling a little late today. I was putting out some new hummingbird feeders. When you cut fur you're supposed to turn it over to the back and fold it where you're going to cut and just cut the, the knit like this so that you're not cutting into the fur. Some of it will come off, but that's okay. It's just so it doesn't look like it's got a a haircut, you know, looks looks more natural if you do it right. <laughs> if you do it right, it looks more natural. So I bought a couple of new hummingbird feeders and I just put them out with some sugar water. Because we have one bully hummingbird that keeps the others away all the time and then I feel bad for the other ones because he chases them away. So I wanted to put out some more. So I figured he can't guard them all all the time. <laughs> he can't guard them all. The other ones would be able to sneak in and get some. Okay, so then just pull it apart. I might have to trim it a little bit. I was going to make that a little bigger. <laughs> oh well. I'll we'll, we'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work, but I want to take that off. Yeah, so I was out there doing that, and then I came in the house to take care of the supper dishes, and then Mr. Possum came in and said, you needed me to come back outside and hold the ladder for him because he needed to get up to the to the gutters in the back of the house so he could um, clean them out. We had one was clogged up. We had one clogged up earlier and now we had another one clogged up. But that's what happens when you live in the woods and you're surrounded by trees. So I don't like the way that little piece there is sticking out. I don't know how to make that look better. 
unless I just glue it down. Probably because if I cut it, it's just going to keep looking the same. So I could just glue it down, I guess. I'm thinking about a background, though. Oh, yeah, so I went out, I held the ladder, came back in. Then I finally got the dishes into the dishwasher and all that stuff. And I came in to, here to journal. And everything was dry on this page because I worked on this a little bit this afternoon. And then I was thinking about some more Mother's Day journaling. My sister sent me some pictures from today when my brother and my other sister were over there. And all of a sudden I'm like, I have Mother's Day journaling paper. <laughs> I, this is some of the paper I got at the flea market. This graphic 45. It says May. It says Dearest Mother. It's got some really cute things on there. Look at the butterflies. And then there was another one. I like this one. Sweet May has come to love us. Flowers, trees, their blossoms dawn. And through the blue heavens above, the very clouds move on. Isn't that gorgeous? And then to match that, May, Mother's Day. Beautiful. They're all very beautiful. I got two. Oh, two of those. Yeah, okay, I got two of those. I thought there was another one. So I was thinking of changing this one or maybe this one over here. But do I want to use this beautiful paper to put a funny green monster on? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Smash it all up, right? Smash it up. Those are cut apart. Mm, I got this. Alright, I'm going to cut something for this page to put my little green monster on. Oh, and I have to print out a picture of Mom. Well, even though I really, really, really love this, <laughs> I cut part of it off. But I'm going to save this one with the purple magnolia and the purple butterfly and that little maypole. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to use the back of it. I know, it's just plain purple. But it's got Happy Mother's Day on it. Celebrate. And I think I'm going to cover this up. Like that. And I printed out two pictures. One with me and Mom. And one with Mom and her card, <laughs> her furry monster card, right there. Well, and I think that's as far as I'm going to get today. I think I am going to experiment. Where'd he go? With my little monster. There he is. Okay. I've got to go find some magic markers or something because I want to color this green. And then I want to put them on here. I'm going to put some googly eyes. And I'm going to put those two pictures. But I haven't decided how I want to do that yet. <laughs> so before I even get that far, I am going to have to experiment with this. So I think, I think, I think everything is falling off the desk. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's getting late. So, um, I did a lot. I did these two pages with the card and the envelope, the paper I got from the flea market, and pictures, and journaling, and a printout. Yeah, I did a lot, and I've got the next page sort of started. You know, and my ideas develop as I go along, so... I'll come up with something for this. 
I'm not sure what. There's got these pretty little things that go with this. This is really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I'm going to make a pretty page and I'm going to put a little green monster on it. <laughs> somehow. I will figure this out somehow. So, again, I just want to wish all the moms out there Happy Mother's Day. I hope you had a lovely day. And happy junk journaling. And I will continue working in here. I'm, I'm in the mood to get some journaling done. I know I've been doing other things for a few days. And, you know, sometimes you need a little journaling break. But then after a couple days, you're like, oh, I got to get back and do some journaling. So I'm all excited to get back and do some journaling in my spring journal. And so I will see you tomorrow. Happy junk journaling. Bye bye. Okay. Have a happy Mother's Day. Have a happy Mother's Day. Have a happy Mother's Day.